the Eric Johnson lead type. Eric Johnson clean. To the mega death tone. And to my clean studio. So welcome to part 2 of my 3 part series for the Headrush MX5 and the M-Wave Chocolate Wireless MIDI Controller demo slash tutorial. Part 2 is going to talk about PC or program change. By the way, if you missed part 1, you can just click here in the card above because it has the essentials that you need to know before getting started. Like how to install the app and <coughs> the things needed for this uh, wireless to activate. So I highly recommend watching part 1. Okay, so let's proceed to part 2. Now program change means this one, the patches, this one. Every time you transfer is called a program change from one rig to another. So it means we can change rigs from clean rig to a distorted metal rig to a pop rig, just like that. So unlike the first video, part one, part one is about controlling each pedals and part two is about controlling each program. By the way, my receiver is already connected because of part one, it's already been connected. As I said again, if you haven't watched part one, so I highly recommend you watch it, okay? So let's proceed to part two program change so let's turn the MIDI receiver off for now so in order to connect to the app uh, so let's open our app and see cube suit and our pedal is here so we need to click that and so we are now connected because the LED is stopped blinking so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer to uh, let's say example program change a let's go to program change a as you notice the, the number here also changed uh, just one program change b let's do that and, and change but now let's try to focus on program change a so by the way i'm going to show two kinds of program change here program change a and the program change advanced mode so first we're going to talk about program change a okay, now we're in program change a so what it means here as i said here is a to D keys are used to send PC code and E and F will be like your bunks. Okay? It has 8 groups and 33 timbers. Press this. It can go to 8 programs. So you have 8 bunks. Then to go back, just press this together. And you're back to your to bunk number 1. So what we're going to do first in the Headrush MX-5 is we're going to check the global settings so in our media settings in the global settings so this is my uh, settings in the global settings for the MIDI so right now the MIDI channel is on Omni and part 1 is on channel 5 but I changed that and it's now in Omni so for simplicity's sake we're going just going to set this to channel 1 and uh, the other mapping here uh, that's uh, as is let's exit that let me grab my guitar real quick so i'm gonna set this clean eric johnson type sound let's click this uh, three dots and go to hardware assign and as you can see here there's a box here called MIDI prog so this is where we're going to assign our MIDI so example if you put one here if you type one it means the pedal one if you type two it's pedal two this one it's B pedal three C number four is D and five is F to the second bank again until just like that so this is my clean Eric Johnson type sound and let's try to set this to with MIDI 1 probe let's save it and exit so let's say I want to assign a distorted tone here in switch B. 
so I'm going to look for the Eric Johnson lead type so uh, let's say I want to put that in let's go to hardware assign and I'm gonna put that to 2 and save it and exit and save so let's say I want to put a megadeth type sound here in pedal C so that's kind of megadeth -y. so I'm gonna assign that in pedal 3 so save it uh, exit and save again so let's say in program D I want a clean tone only pure clean tone so here's my Mac clean tone that I modify from a JSON roller rig so I'm gonna assign there I, I'm gonna put there 4 so I'm gonna save it and we're gonna add because this one two three four now how about if we would transfer to another bank so let's just add one more just for an example so we can transfer so let's just say this is a telelux again from JSON roller I'm gonna put this in MIDI prog 5 so save it and save so now I've got five programs that I've programmed here in my M-Wave pedal. Now I'm going to exit the app now. And, and now the LED started blinking because it's disconnected. So I'm going to turn on now the wireless receiver, the mini wireless receiver, the MS1. <coughs> So let's test. So let's see if it can it can remember what I program. So let's try to push uh, one. Oh, see, as soon as I push a the A pedal, or as, as soon as I push pedal A, so my my Eric Johnson type clean tone. Eric Johnson type clean tone popped up. Now I'm gonna press pedal B and here it is the lead tone. I'm gonna press pedal C. I'm gonna put um, it's time to do some cleans. So that's simple. We can go to four rigs We're just pressing these buttons. It's a different kinds of program. Also very handy. So let's say I'm going to another bank. I'm going to number five. Just press this too and now in I wanna go back just click this one and I'm back to my Eric Johnson too. so that's the first program change uh, that I showed you now I'm gonna share and now let's say if you don't like to go uh, to other banks you just need these four pedals because these buttons are just so close from each other so what will happen is you're gonna accidentally uh, step on these two together and you suddenly you're in, a, you're in another you're in another you're in another program you're in another bank so if you just want to only this 
four pedals to only activate. You can always uh, let's, uh, always go to the let's go to the advanced mode. So let's go to advanced mode. Let's connect to the app. And so here it is. So let's go to from program change A. Let's go on to program. Uh, let's go to advanced custom mode. Now here, this is what I. This is the one that, that I shown in in part one. But that is CC. So now if we try to open that, so uh, it's in CC. So let's put it in PC. And assign a switch so let's say number one number one save that and by the switch B put it in PC by the way let's change let's change this uh, let's change the channel to one and I'm gonna put here two save that I'm gonna pedal C make change to channel one put it in number three there you go and last pedal pedal D uh -huh. change channel uh, to one change PC change to PC and let's say four so I think I forgot to change the channel here in number one ah, so it's already changed to channel one how about these two patches okay so let's try to exit that and let's connect let's turn on our MIDI receiver let's see if we can connect I'll press this number two so So the problem with that is what happens instead of this one is one what happens here is the number two here pop because we need to let's just connect to that again so this one here one so one it means one here is zero for here and two means one here so let's uh, let's change that real quick Let's connect to the app again. And let's go to spot which A. And let's put here zero. Zero. And foot switch B. Put that to one. Uh -huh. foot switch D put that to uh, 2 and foot switch D put that to 3 so 0 here means 1 in here so let's save that so I think we got it now so exit that turn on again our MIDI receiver and we are connected so now let me press B let's see if it will go to the Eric Johnson lead type so it did Eric Johnson clean to the mega death tone to my clean studio so let's try to press these two buttons just like in the gig you accidentally stepped on these two buttons and as you can see nothing happened you're still in these four presets that you selected
so you're safe you will not get lost in the gig example also this one so still nothing happened so that's the other option guys anyway it's your choice if you want the program change a where you can transfer from different banks or if you like the advanced pc mode where you can just stay in these four presets to avoid getting lost in a gig if you accidentally press this two buttons so that's simple guys you can change program to program by just pressing these four buttons and controlling it here in the midi app so that's it for part two guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from that if you did please subscribe and please watch now part three which we're going to make a trs cable here from the pedal out to the midi in of the headrush mx5 so see you on part three guys take care